I am an illustrator in 12-step recovery. I go by the name 12 Drawings. And I've been doing sets of illustrations based on the writing from the Big Book of Alcoholics Anonymous, <clears throat> originally written in the late 1930s, and trying to gain some insight by looking up those words in the 1934 dictionary that would have been current at the time the 12-step uh, literature was first being written. Now, those other sets of drawings are from the literature. This, these 12 drawings are not. These are from a question uh, that I simply state as religious or not. Religious or not, because I often hear a little debate going on about are the 12 steps religious? There certainly are references to God sufficient to uh, justify the belief that, well, if it's talking about God, it must be religious. But I wanted to dig in and have a little faith that the Webster's Dictionary folks were not going to use their dictionary as a channel for <clears throat> presenting a particular religious point of view. And in fact, they don't disappoint. I'm going to read this definition, and I'll warn you it's a long one. It says, religion is the service and adoration of God or a God as expressed in forms of worship, in obedience to divine commands, especially as found in accepted sacred writings or as declared by recognized leaders, and in pursuit of a way of life regarded as incumbent on true believers. Now, in that long definition, I found 12 words and decided maybe I could shed a little light with the help of Webster's Dictionary in looking up the words they used to describe religion and find out if the 12 steps in 1930s were matching the description of that 1930s description of religion. A key word is worship. It says the service and adoration of God or a God as expressed in forms of worship. Looked up the word in Webster's Dictionary. Worship is courtesy or reverence paid to merit or worth. Hmm. Courtesy or reverence paid to merit or worth. I find it interesting that Webster's themselves, even though they use the word worship in their definition of religion, didn't choose a particularly religious definition for worship. And that puzzled me a little bit. Uh, but often that was the whole point of looking something up in a 1934 dictionary was it, it, it did have a different definition at that time than I expected. So courtesy or reverence paid to merit or worth in earthly terms, in worldly terms, leaving uh, discussions of a higher power out of it for a moment. There's a perfect example. You could, you could see uh, examples throughout history of Someone of royal birth, a queen or a duchess or any number of, you know, noble ladies who, uh, when they're met by a commoner, if you will, someone who lives in kind of the wrong side of town, lots of smoke in the air, uh, properties not very well repaired, not very well uh, repaired. And, but as soon as this young lady sees who's coming down the street, she immediately shows courtesy or reverence to someone who she views as having great merit or worth, meaning royalty. And this is just a very pretty little drawing, I think. I, I, again, I don't get credit for any of my drawings. They were all inspired by my, uh, my love of my recovery and my higher power that gave me that recovery. But um, this is the simple act and the simple fact of someone showing reverence, and uh, I'm sorry, showing worship. And again, I'll repeat, the definition says the service and adoration of God or a God as expressed in forms of worship. So did the 12-step groups do this sort of thing? Did you see someone walk into a room in a 12-step group and everybody stands up the way you might for a judge in court? Do people bow down as the way you might in, uh, for royalty? Do you see people kneeling down and touching their foreheads to the ground in, in, uh, in submission like they might in some religions? And I would answer you, no. I've never been to a 12-step group that did any of those things. So to answer my own question, 
Uh, I don't see the the program itself uh, <clears throat> being defined by a worship if the definition is courtesy or reverence paid to merit or worth. So I'm not trying to dance around the question. I'm just saying if you want to read it literally and it doesn't say anything about religion or God, it just talks about basically bowing down to someone else. I don't see bowing down to other people as being a part of the 12-step recovery process. You can always see more at 12drawings.com. Thanks so much for listening.